Well, we all want our children to be happy, but should parents jump through all sorts of hoops at all costs to keep them that way? Well, our next guest says that parents who do so are hurting their kids in the long run. In her newest book, The Me, Me, Me Epidemic, parenting expert Amy McCready talks about the problem of entitlement and how we can raise children who don't think they're the center of the universe. Amy, it's nice to have you with us today. Well, thanks for having me. Okay, so let's talk about this. How do we know if we have a problem with entitlement with our children? Well, all kids have good days and bad days. We know that. But if you have kids who can't or won't take no for an answer, who act helpless and expect you to do things for them that they're perfectly capable of doing for themselves, if they expect to be rescued from their mistakes or their you know, forgetfulness, they no matter how much you give them or do for them, they want more, more, more. They're just not grateful for what they have. You may have a case of the me, me, me epidemic at your house. You know, I think parents think they're helping when they're bailing their children out of situations like that. But yeah. why is it actually doing them a lot more harm than good? It is doing them more harm than good. And, and I understand this. I'm a parent of, of two teenagers, and we want the best for our kids. We don't want them to have adversity or stumble or fail. But when we step in and prevent that from happening, we, when we mow down all the potential obstacles in their path, we rob them of all of the things that come from failing. You know, having to figure out a better way to do it next time. They don't, they don't learn perseverance and, and how to find you know, decision making, finding new ways to do things. They miss all of those opportunities when we step in and make everything all better. And you know, the, the bumps in the road that they're experiencing now are minor compared to what they're going to experience down the road as older teenagers or adults. So they have to learn how to deal with that adversity. Okay, so how do you stop giving in to your kids if you've already established that uh, kind of a precedent? Well, the first thing is recognizing that you have maybe been giving in a little bit too much. And I recommend to parents that they find one or two areas. Don't try to change everything at once because it'll be overwhelming for your kids and you won't be able to follow through. So pick one or two areas. Maybe it's bedtime, maybe it's technology, maybe it's stuff, the things that you buy for them and then decide what you're going to do. So you can put your ground rules in place, you can clearly define what the consequences are, and then follow through on those things every single time. When you start doing that, your kids are going to understand that there are boundaries and limits, that no matter how much they badger, whine, or negotiate, you are gonna stay firm on the rules that you've put in place, and they're gonna to learn to respect that. Once you nail down a couple of areas, then you can continue to add to that. So start slowly and then build on the success that you're gonna find in that. You know, so much of it I think is about changing attitudes, uh, changing a child from being arrogant to humble or from being demanding uh, to being grateful. And that's gotta be harder than just changing the stuff. Well, and that's where, you know, I, I think whether you have young kids or teenagers, you know, this is so important. It's never too late to work on this. And I've outlined a lot of tools in the book to help parents teach gratitude and empathy and compassion for their kids. But just establishing daily gratitude rituals in your home can go a long way. Another thing that you can do is to go without. So as a family, you could, def you could decide that you're gonna go without one thing, like pick one week a month that we're gonna go without air conditioning or oh, without no. fast food <laughs> or whatever it is and do without, I know, I know, and do without that thing for a week. And it really makes you realize, wow, like what if we didn't have air conditioning? There are a lot of families that don't. So it puts a different perspective on the things that we and our kids take for granted. But again, I've, I've tried to outline a number of ideas for parents to, that they can implement that doesn't feel overwhelming, but it is gonna start to foster those attitudes of gratitude, empathy, and compassion for other people. Some really useful tools in the book, Amy. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. All right, you can find out more in Amy's book. It's called The Me, Me, Me Epidemic. And you can find out more also online at amymccready.com.